Greetings YouTube, this is BJ Black and welcome to Chapter 6 of Land of the Night. Oh yes, these guys. Well, well. To think that there would be people escaping from Muska's territory. Oh. This has gotten a little interesting. This, no way. If it's... So, we get out of the house and now we're in a conquered town. Our Escape from Demons game isn't quite over yet. Well, the two of you know the rules, don't you? You just need to escape from the village alive. This succubus is about on the level with Muska, whom we got away from before. Her fearsomeness, just by looking at her, you can understand it. But even more than her, look at how cute her face is. Oh, wait, no. Ah. Uh, so, if you could entertain me just a little bit, that would be nice. Don't go dying to some boring trap now. This one is definitely out of the question. This is one opponent we definitely won't be able to fight. You two are... Oh, what's wrong? What is wrong with you? Pe using people like toys just simply kill them. Enough, Pyakunen. These two don't have the same view of human value as we do. To these demons, people are that existence. That's all they are. <laughs> Young Ling. You're pretty smart, aren't you? You can't get that way dealing with people with dealing with ones like us just once or twice, can you? No. Youngling. Are you one of us? I can see you've got something scary in you. That's none of your business. I'm not resorting to that. Ooh, that sounds tasty bit of backstory. As expected, this venom is immeasurable. It'd be best if we definitely avoid battle with this one. So then, let's meet again. Have fun with the games that we've prepared. I happen to like people who've got some backbone. Younglings. Struggle through this as if you're going to die, okay? <laughs> And Venom and Nemea leave. They they left. Ugh, my palms are so sweaty. Well, we were facing off against monsters like that. Can't be helped. As much as possible, I want to get this done without fighting. I think that's his philosophy in general, but yeah. Especially now. We can't count on another lucky moment, such as what happened with Muska. As expected, 
from now on we should expect consider that if we're caught that's the end so then let's get into this game again and let's hurry up and get out of here excuse me yes with all of our powers together let's escape do your best guys I'll be supporting you from behind leave the support to me too you two are fighting too just as a reminder of who's in our party in case it's been a while a villager saying what's up with these dolls Wah. is the one who will die with me you stay back You're going to die while tasting the utmost pleasure from my devices. Well, isn't that weird? So there are these countless dolls running around attacking people, chasing them, and raping them. You know, it's the picture of hell. But further, the dolls that are attacking people are no way. Mukuro? No. You look the same, but those are different. Kelsia, do you know of these dolls? Those are Mukuro. Essence draining dolls that take on an evil spirit, well, a vengeful spirit, and become demons. But, oh, he was describing one who became a demon. And he's saying the ones before us are a little bit different. And how are they different, exactly? Well, this isn't the, the opera. This isn't the time to be discussing it leisurely. We've got to save these commoners who are being attacked. Right. Mukuro. Notice red eyes. So, here too, there's a man. We were told that it's all right to attack any men who are here. So, let me drink up your essence. Mukuro, do you recognize me? It's me, Kazuya. Kazuya? No name such as that is recorded in my data. Data? In that case, rather than a hateful spirit, vengeful spirit, it's just a mechanical. Hmm. Okay, I understand. You're a completely different thing than the Mukuro that I know. And the way they moved before. Their nimbleness is not a well above comparison with the incomplete the incomplete one that he knew at that time. More than the actual Mukuro, they seem a lot stronger in abilities. Don't let your guard now. Down. Bjorken in. Right. I'll fight them with all my strength. Who will die with me? Come, let's die together. Yeah, I don't think that'll happen. Boy, these are pretty long.
Well, fighting them in actuality, the confirmation, the conclusion is only confirmed further. These Mukuros are completely different from the Mukuro that I know. In addition to the their abilities being raised, their movement is mechanical. It's definitely not uh, the movement of a demon. Byakunin. Mukuro is... was... held captive by the lonely... a death of loneliness. And... she was someone who had attacked men looking for... searching for her own partner. Partner, you say? In order to rest in peace... She wanted someone to fall along, fall with her, using an essence draining, to, using the essence draining mechanisms. She would, inf she would force them into a contract with her. But these Mukuro are completely different. It seems rather that they're. Their objective is the draining of essence itself. And anyway, why are there multiples of their of her? The Mukuro that I knew, there was one and only one of. Looking like it is, there's only one thing I can think of. Somebody has been mass-producing her body alone. Kazuya, let's defeat the other Mukuros. We have to save the, the civilians. Right, let's do this. Except you don't really need to. Compared to the previous version of this series of mazes, this is really, really linear. Oh. We'll talk to the girl. My friend went to the room ahead here. Please, save them. Ahead. The presence there is not normal. We can't exactly tell that to her. But... Her friend who went ahead here... Really can't think that he's gonna make it out okay. You... Can't go. You absolutely can't go. Just hide here. Okay? Mm-hmm. Yep. Ooh, I see a sprite down there. Your name, Mea. We know a lot of names for the fact that they don't actually introduce themselves. Hi, hey, welcome. But just wait a little here. Meal time is just about to end. Ah, uh ha, -huh. ooh, ooh. It's okay. Don't be afraid. Just like this. I'll send you to heaven peacefully. So, this boy whom Neme is embracing is drying out as we watch. Yep, at this rate, there's no saving him. Already. No way, this is so cruel. Well... It's not cruel at all. This is... what the boy wanted. 
rather than running about in fear and lost, to come to his end in, pl in a sweet pleasure. He accepted it and leapt into my bosom. That's not creepy at all. So she steps away from the boy's body and turns to us a gaze that's filled with magic. You too as well. Don't you want it to be over easily? Aren't you scared? Isn't it difficult? Give up and be mine. And if you do, then you can easily and pleasurably come to your end. Sweetly. Kindly. Ple in pleasure, like, until you just melt. Her enticing gaze and her sweet fragrance. The average human would be enticed by this. It's that much of an, it's that much of a, of a temptation. They, that you, that they might throw, just throw their lives away. Biakonin, don't be enticed. Yes, of course. A spirit that can resist against temptation, I fully intend to have. My intention up to this point is to fully cultivate it. Hmm. Come, be welcome. In the utmost pleasure, I will send you to heaven. In any way, we should run. If we get caught by her, it's the end for us. When it comes to running away, I have confidence. Kazuya, you too. Run with all your might, hmm? All right, running away again. If we get caught, it's game over. Oh, better not run this way. There's nowhere to run over here. Yeah, these chase segments could have been done better. Come on, jump into my bosom, won't you? Uh, I refuse. Thank you. Oh yeah. Man, if I didn't know how to dash, that could have been the end of me. Luckily, it was quick. She won't follow us this far, huh? We got away, it looks like. That woman... I get the feeling she was just looking at me. Am I being too self-conscious? Nope, she was definitely staring at you while licking her lips. It looks like she really likes you. Congratulations. Not even one bit. I think that's something to correct. That's something to gra congratulate me for. Mm. Yeah, it's super linear around here. Again, a big improvement over the last time we controlled these guys. I feel like I'm forgetting something. Oh, look, an NPC. Goddess Ilias, please save us. Goddess Ilias, please save us. Okay, she's just praying over and over again. Don't worry. Whoever Goddess Ilias saves you or we do, something will do it. The, lo the younglings, huh? You're in luck. I'm now reading. Venom doesn't even look at us. 
almost as if she has no interest in us at all. Go ahead and get out of here. As long as you're quiet, I'll let you go. Isn't she the sweetest? These two agree, I'm sure. Byakunin and I quietly nod at each other. As long as we don't disturb her, we can pass through, it seems. But if we make any noise, then her reading will be interrupted and... Yeah, that's what happens. As much as possible, we need to get out of here without making any noise. Alright, continue without making any noise. If you do make noise, it's game over. I really like Venom, so the first thing I did in my trial run was go up and talk to her. Um, I don't think you should be surprised that's a game over. Don't open this chest here. It's got, can you believe this, a rooster in it that crows when you open it. Don't stand in front of the piano because you'll just randomly press some keys and you'll die. Look, there's a door. Yeah, don't open the door. It's an obvious trap. Read the play code. The door in front of you is out of order. The noise it makes is so horrible. We aren't allowing it to be used right now. Use instead the passageway underneath this note. The door makes noise. Yeah, we better not use it. Are they whispering to each other? Ah, oh, there is a really is a pa passage here. It's tight, but seems like we can pass through. Make sure you don't make any noise. Quietly now. That would be a pretty difficult one to do in speedrun, because of how fast you can sprint. Would you try to get through as fast as possible? Well, anyway. We got through the passageway under the placard, and successfully exited the reading room. Oh, man. The hairs on the back of my neck are on it, are standing. At this rate, no matter how many lives I have, I'm going to run out. That Venom. Is she really that terrifying? Amongst the three of them, I can see she's the smallest. She is an incredible monster. Humans should not be getting involved with that. That's how terrifying an opponent she is. Well, this time we got through somehow. So right now our objective is getting out of here. Let's continue onward. M Mukuro. She's not moving. What's on up with this? No reaction at all. Its functionality is completely come to an end. Oh great, more changes. Job change and recovery. Ka, ha, te. What's up with this? Is she broken? She's spitting out some word fragments, but not moving. Her functions are coming to an end as well. And you can see a sprite up there. Kagetsumugi. This too is 
a bad individual. A bad one, I suppose we should say. It looks like it's not really usable, these AIs that simulate thought. Is that Kuroko? Presumably someone from Byakunin's past. Who are you? Are you a member of the Alliance? I am not in the Alliance. I draw my breath from this world and as one of the people who lives here. Well, she doesn't say people exactly. As for the Alliance, more or less I have a connection with them. I have supplied these dolls for their game. Dolls? You're the one who supplied the Mukuros. What, what are you meaning to do by this? These Mokuro that are essence draining dolls, I'm the one who mass produced them. Why did you do such a thing? Are you trying to win favor from them? I am a puppet master. When I see an interesting plan, it's only natural that I want to try and build some. But why do you have plans for Mercuro? Through a certain route, it entered into my hands. By whom, I cannot tell you. Yeah, of course. Well, I've got a pretty good idea, though. Well, how about a different question? Why did you make so many of them? I wanted to see if I couldn't use them for the circus that I lead. It looks like I made a little too many, though. But these dolls are too intricate. It's an exceedingly good design, but it's not suitable for mass production. I see. That's your conclusion, huh? More than the Mukuro that I know, these are highly perfected. If furthermore, in the region of their words and deeds and their motions, they're... they're very strange to me. As expected, it's not the Mukuro that I knew. They're just dolls that were mass-produced. Furthermore, there are, they have AIs that reproduce actual thought. Still, even if they are others, I won't let you play with Mukuro anymore. I'm going to have you step away from these, from these dolls. And if you don't, Kazia, calm down. Ah, I'm very sorry. It seems you have a connection with the Mukuro. In that case, there's a little something I'd like to, for you to confirm for me. 
Amongst all these I mass produced, there was one irregular individual. The personality emulation had a bug, I thought, but Kagetsumuki. Kagetsumugi shakes her arm a little and from the big pack on box on her back one camera crawls out. Now, I mentioned the others had red eyes. Then there's this one. As you can see, my commands passed to her. Um, my commands are conveyed to her. And as I want her to, but she just keeps repeating this one name. Kazuya. Probably there's some word that she wants to hear. Perhaps you know the activation trigger for this? The color of her eyes is different from that of the others. She doesn't seem mechanical. It's the eyes of... It's eyes that possess a living force. If there were a name to call her other than Kamu Mukuro, it would be only this. The one who inhabited the Mukuro, her previous life's name. The one I know, Mukuro's true name. Akane, do you remember me? Akane, I am, I am, that's right. For the village, I fell to the depths of hell, in the dark and the deep. Wait, wait. I don't want to be alone anymore. Somebody, somebody, stay by my side. Together with me, fall. This is somehow very strange, how she's acting. Is this normal? No, she's completely unstable. As she is now, she doesn't recognize me. But I'm certain about one thing. She's the milk girl that I know. Come, together with me. Fall into hell. There's no helping it. Let's go all out here. Let's give her body a big enough shock that she, that she comes to recognize me. Right. Please, come back to your senses. Mukuro! Man, isn't that cute? Uh, I guess that was a time stop or something. I'm rushing the battles because I'm going to presume you don't want to see a thousand battles one by step by step. Anyway. Taking the damage we dished out, Camaro 
collapses onto her knees. Collapses from her knees? Is that really what it said? Akane, are you all right? I know I told you, Kazuya. Don't call me Akane. Mukuro, you remember me. The demon with the soul called Akane residing in a essence draining doll, an incomplete essence draining doll. That's the Mukuro I know. And now she's finally come back to her senses. I see. That name was the activation word. This AI has a pretty interesting system built into it. Excuse me. It's not all that rare for a doll to have a soul residing in it. And it seems inside of this mass-produced body even, it's acquired an ego of its own. I don't fully understand what's going on here, but this Mukuro is Mukuro. She isn't your puppet to control any longer. That's right. She's not a puppet to control. Her ego is sprouted. I can ascertain that. Target Sumugi. That's what you called yourself, isn't it? Are you our opponent next? No. I am not your enemy. But you made all so many of these dolls called Mukuro. All I did was supply these to the Alliance. I myself have no connection to them beyond the supply. Have no intention of continuing beyond supplying that. So then, what shall we do with this Mukuro? With her just awakened ego. Oh. I parsed that wrong. She is asking the Mukuro herself. With your newly awakened ego, what is it you choose? In truth, I don't have a grip on all of the situation, but my answer is decided. I will risk this body to protect Cassia. I see. Then I will respect that will of yours. You're called Cassia, aren't you? I entrust Mukuro to you. This Mukuro is an improved product that I made myself. The battle gimmicks that I've worked into it will be useful to you. Kagetsumugi. Why are you entrusting her to me? Because that will make her happiest. Well, now, isn't she an interesting character? Oh, come on! 
She wears the box. This is just pointless fan service. If you're good, actually, no, I'm not going to follow that particular line of thinking. <clears throat> so then, I'm going to take my leave here. We have plans for a big performance coming up. So, please look forward to it. She turns her back and goes to leave. To her back, I ask one more question. Let me ask you this, Kargit Smoogie. Are you a puppeteer? Or are you a puppet yourself? Where'd the music go? This is ominous. I am not a puppet. Yee. Oh. Husha. Now, I didn't really expect that, now did I? But thinking about it, you know, sometimes when you ask somebody something, they will react most strongly to something that they know is true, but they don't want to admit to themselves. Well, let's put that aside. We've got a village to escape, don't we? So, after a tense moment, Car gets a movie, goes and leaves the place. Car gets a movie. Just what is she? I didn't think she was a human from the start, but more than expected, she was inhuman. It's good that she left just like that. She said she would entrust Kaget Samugi to us. Not give or surrender her to us. Uh-huh. That Kaget Samugi or whatever seems to have a deep respect for dolls of this kind. This is somehow a strange sight. Bodies just like mine laying around like this. Yep, you're just staring at a, your own corpse. Many of your own corpses. <laughs> Uh, furthermore, this body, more than the one I had before, is pretty easy to move. The time we spent in our world, you had an incomplete body, after all. These got mass-produced, and it's come to a completed reached a completed form, I think. Our world, huh? Kazuya, I probably am a little bit different from the Mukuro that you know. Even if you are able to return to your world, I probably won't be able to return. In your world, your world's camera still exists, is still there. So, 
Is that alright with you, Kazuya? Everything's alright, I understand. No matter what world we're in, you're Mukuro. Furthermore, I felt it myself, in my heart. You are, without a doubt, connected with my spirit. You're the Camaro that I know, the one I hold in my heart. Is it unacceptable for that to be my reason? Thank you, Kazuya. Great, another companion. It's a pleasure to meet you, Mukuro. Let's do our best together. Mukuro, pleasure to meet ya. It's a pleasure. Me and the Rampas are already in a in a good combination. This Lampas is a different one, is it? Isn't it? It's her me demeanor is slightly different. But all the same, you're getting along well with you, her, aren't you, Kazuya? Does she know about it? Does she know about this thing? Uh, um... If I told her here in these circumstances, it, the conversation would get a bit long. I'd like to make a full explanation when we're uh, in more calm circumstances. Huh? Just wait a bit. Our battle party is... at most four people, isn't it? Yeah, just leave off the important plot-related stuff and start talking about the battle mechanics. Well, Lampus is kind of a spaz, after all. So, if Mukuro joins us, and we get into five people, then one of us is going to be excluded. One of us of the five. Yumiko's defense is weak, after all. Even with the, every little attack, she gets takes big damage. Lampas, you know. When she takes fire damage, she burns. Amazingly. So, you two are in a good combination. Huh? This is unlike the two of you. Quite alternate to this. I thought you'd be both be trying to slack off. I'd like to slack off, but I don't like to be made to wait. I want to is slack appropriately while still getting to fight enemies. It, and furthermore, that's a pretty nasty thing of you to say, Byakunen. All right, let's stop talking about things outside of battle. Yeah, at the very least, let's do a rotation, huh? Kazuya, is something going to matter? No, it's just... There's something I'm considering about these events. 
this, this train of events. Kage Tsumugi said that the Imukuro's plans were given to her in this world. If that's the case, someone who's connected with this event is that scientist was saying that in what has been telling me recently about shortage of funding and even though he can't actually probably a she isn't it all right we'll say that even though she's been should be should have been complaining about a lack of funds lack of insufficient an insufficiency of funds through some means or other that uh, when I get back you're gonna regret this you stupid Tengu Yeah, it's something on his end. Back and forth, but always so linear. We buy, we sell. Until my life runs out. There are a lot of merchants that are, get really fired up, aren't there? Uh... I don't really want to buy anything. I just wanted to hear that guy's line because it was pretty funny. Oh no, another enemy. <clears throat> <laughs> the younglings have arrived. Finally, it's time for the main dish. D now... This is the worst possible thing that could appear here. This this many people. This is too cruel. Oh, don't quake in fear like that. Come on. I'm going to kill you with a pleasure that will send you to heaven. Well, why don't you give up? and become my feast. Or... will you struggle a little bit for me? Byakunin, you know what we gotta do, right? Right. We're running away as fast as we can. Against uh, monstrous opponents such as this, no matter how many lives you have, it wouldn't be enough. If we're caught, that's the end. Well, same story here. Come on, faster, faster. Guess what? You're short. And you're old. And you're cute. Wait, no. That isn't going to make her mad. Faster, faster. Ah, forget it. I would think they would disable running, but I don't think they actually do. Yes, too bad. With this, your game ends. <clears throat> We've been ambushed, huh? Kind of expected it, but... It's the same as with Muska. Sitting right in front of the exit in order to prevent us from escaping. And this time, Venom is on our heels. If we take too much time, then we'll be trapped between them. What do we do, Kalsia? Well, nothing to do, but... Well, we've got to fight, but... Don't think about winning. We've got to create an opening and run. 
Well, well. You're going to play with me. But will it really go so well for you? Facing down with Nemea. I swallow my tongue. Not swallow my breath. I can't anticipate a miracle like that time with Muska. With this monster as our opponent, it'll be difficult just creating an opening. But we've got to prepare our will for it. It's do or die. Let's go. Right, I accompany you. <laughs> it's nice how lively you are. Well, be sure to pleasure me. <laughs> You're trying so hard. More and more. Mate makes me want to eat you. As expected, she's strong. We really don't have any more we can... Any more power to give to... The, to put... to... To use here. For just one moment, we're able to push her back on our heels, but... We weren't able to create an opening great enough for us to run away. Oh yeah, they're saying we... In gameplay terms, we were able to beat her enough to end the battle, but not enough to get an opening. You guys are... So desperate, I can't hold my best self back any longer. So, who wants to be eaten first? Byakunin wants the one you. Byakunin's the one you'll find the tastiest, right? And Calcio is lightly salted. He'll taste good. Lightly salted. And the flower and fox are a dessert, I suppose. No, 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 no. Uh, I, I'm based on that damn boss and her, and her horrible personality. I taste bad. Uh, me too. I, I just taste like cheap booze. So let us off. Here we've we gotta pull back. We gotta find another route and escape. Oh well balls. Tragic, but this way is is close to traffic. Hmm. <laughs> In front and behind. They're both shut off. Oh uh, behind us too. Yep, we're trapped in the middle. This is the worst situation. Well, no. There could be something worse than this. Ooh, bonus! Hey, they're my prey to begin with, remember? Why don't you let me suck out half of it or so? Muska as well. And the final monster is showing herself. We can't even fight off one of them and have all three of them in front of us at once. Aligned against us. Well, well, Miska. Didn't they clear your game? Even if you were just playing around, 
the things that are decided, you've got to hold yourself to. You've got to be held to the things that are decided. It's unmannerly, after all, to be stealing food from in front of others. And furthermore, Muska, you are... Right, right. I've heard enough of your lectures, Grammy. Ah. Instead of playing around with them so leisurely at the beginning, I should have just eaten them up at all. I should have just eaten them up without, without delay. So then, grandmother, is it all right if I take the young one first? I tell you to call me Lady Venom. But geez, you like the young ones, don't you? In that case, I'll take the gun boy. Well, he's not bad. Get. This is already not a problem of winning or losing. They, they've started just dividing us up between them. <laughs> so then, Byakunen is what you're called, right? I'll eat you deliciously. Ah! Nemea approaches Byakunen. <laughs> the next moment in Nemea's face yeah Nemea's face takes a direct hit from a club yeah <laughs> yeah she said she flies back landing lightly and standing in front of us is Well, you've menaced my apprentice well, haven't you? Beloved apprentice, sorry. Next up, I'll be your opponent. This scandalously clad, mysterious Oni woman. From her body, you can sense the Anger and spirit rising off. Master! What? This woman is? Byakunin's master. A very old one. A very old occultist. Is what he thought. Kind of like... Byaki from my world. Are all Oni women this glamorous? Is that a rule? And furthermore, it looks like the ones saving us are not Byakunin's master alone. Oh man. This village is in such a state. It is completely out of order here. It's complete chaos, she's saying. The magician looking boy and a succubus. Going by their going by their manners, neither of them are to be taken lightly. Well, well. Are these your friends? There shouldn't be any way for you to get into the village, this village from the outside. In order to break the barrier, you've got some impressive dumb power, don't you?
The Oni there. Your name. Magatsu. I'm just a decrepit old... Yoma. Noble monster. Hmm. Well said. Well said. That kind of physical power... The decrepit don't... Uh, don't... Uh, the decrepit don't have that kind of physical power. Furthermore, I'm a, a mage and a nightmare. This is... Maybe it's a little too interesting now. That priest-looking boy is Magatsu's apprentice. The other man is... An your acquaintance? Your companion. Yeah, yeah, that's how it is. Byakunin Kun's help. Byakunin has helped me a lot through here. Me too. I'm a companion as well. And me, I'm a companion. With this on our side, we have seven people. No, you forgot Mukuro. But anyway. Yeah. Particularly this Magatsu. She's strong enough. Hmm. She seems about on a level with the, the three succubi. That's right. If you don't give up, there's always a way out that'll open. I can't believe I let myself get so. get so. Uh, oppressed in there. That boy looks tasty. Grandma? Is it alright if I take him? <laughs> They've got quite the lineup now. I thought it would be a an unfortunate game, but it's getting fired up. No, nope. playtime has gone on long enough. Yusuke, Nemea. We'll be retreating from this place. No way! Grandma! We don't need to. Grandmother? Aren't you being just a little too cautious? This is another world where we don't know all the circumstances. Being a little too cautious is the right response. Aside from the heroes, we can't even leave... We've got those others in the Alliance, we can't even let our guard down around. You too as well. Haven't you had your fill for today? There will be more than enough chances to ha to eat a hero from in the future. It's true. I'm already full, I guess. Well, maybe it's best to set aside a good feast for later. Can't let our guard down around the Alliance either. Right? It's true, if we get stabbed from behind... Hmm. I'd ask for some variance for... I'd ask for some variance on that. The three of them will retreat. Whew, man. Just barely got away with our lives. So, heroes, we'll be parting ways for now. <laughs> don't go dying easily during the interval. And you can look forward to it while you wait. 
our meeting again. I'll steam you softly and sweetly. Wait, Muska. I raise my voice to stop Muska as she's trying to leave. Just one thing. One thing. I need to confirm. Hmm? What do you need with me? That crest on your hand. Why do you have the collab proof? According to the White Rabbit's story, it's a crest that the seven heroes should have. So just why does Muska have one? Hmm? This strange crest? It's been here since I came to this world. No way that that could... That's not right, Muska. Immediately after our teleportation to this world, there was a human collapsed by you. By us, right? Wasn't there? Hmm. Now that you mention it, maybe it was? That's right. We had him captured and I was seasoning him. That's the, the euphemism they use in their game. For torturing the poor soul. But I was hungry, so... I ate him there. And after that... The crust floated up on your hand. That is the proper chronology of how it worked. Of how it happened. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's like you say, Grandma. Was there something special about that human? I wonder. Probably. That man as well was the hero from our world. But he was pretty powerless, it seems. And so, him being eaten by Musco right, as, right after the teleportation. You absorbed the power that was supposed to be his. As far as we can conjecture, that's how it happened. Hmm. Is that so? I, I didn't really w want this particular... It's not like I really wanted this crest. That's... No way. So, one of the seven heroes... has already been killed. Furthermore, his power has been taken by Muska. In other words... I'm the otherworldly hero, Miska. <laughs> it's like in an anime. <laughs> How funny. But it doesn't suit me, so let's pretend it was. So let's pretend it's not so. So, the heroes who should be seven are already six. <laughs> now that you've ha now that one's been lost, there is no way for you to win, is there? That's not the case. We'll Here, on the three hands of, on the hands of three people here, the collab proof starts to glow. 
Well, including Muska, four people. Don't underestimate us. I've lived through situations more desperate than this. Absolutely don't give up. As long as I have that will, we haven't lost you. That's right. We won't bend. <laughs> ah, I like heroes and heroes that is a different word in Japanese. The brave and heroic, let's say. I'm really going to enjoy your taste when next we meet. Look forward to when we meet again. I'll take good care of you. We'll be waiting with our stomachs empty. Hmm. With that, the three succubi disappear from the place. Just leaving behind a strange fragment as testament to their passage. Oh, jeez. So they left. Somehow we managed to get through it with our lives. Master, you came for me. <laughs> As expected of Byakunin. I believe that you would be alright. And you are Byakunin's companion, huh? You've taken good care of my apprentice. No, we too. Your apprentice has really surprised us. Done nothing but surprise us. And just like that, and in that way, we continue to introduce ourselves. Magatsu Lorat Rijeo. Each of them are companions that have the same objective. And on Lorat's hand is another collab proof. With this, three of the chosen heroes are collected. But still, that Byakunin's master would be such a beautiful woman. If you trained together, you must have been cautious about temptations of the flesh, huh? That, that is, you see, <laughs> they weren't cautious at all about it. Anyway, our next objective is Grand Noah. Our next destination is Grand Noah. And if we don't hurry, it'll be bad, you know? Objection. You guys came from the direction of Grand Gold, and now you're at Finoa. You would have had to pass through Grand Noah in order to get here. How did you do that? That was supposed to be your destination at the end of the last chapter, wasn't it? How? Ah, fuck it, never mind. According to Lorat's story, in some land called Grand Noah, there's a demon castle being summoned. And if we let that happen, this world will be sent considerably closer to destruction. The land of the night will spread, and people will fall into the dream. Lorat, Rijeo, Magatsu. 
From now on, we'll be a company. We'll be going together. Yes, that'll be a big help. We're counting on you. To join you in your journey, please take good care of us. Lorat nods brightly. And the Lorat party and the Kazuya party are joined. So this, let's hurry to this Grand Noah or whatever. Yeah, no matter what, we've got to stop the sun, the magic, the demon castle summoning. While we were caught up in this game in the village, the situation has been moving in a big way. If we don't stop this demon castle summoning, the world gets much closer to destruction. Didn't I just read this like a minute ago? But fortunately, we've got some very encouraging new companions. So we should go and r and ride into Grand Noah and prevent the summoning ritual. But the seven heroes are already. One of the amongst the amongst the seven heroes, one is already lost. And nobody puts it to words, but it weighs heavily on everybody. Is that it? Yeah, that's it. So thanks for watching, and I will see you next time. Music? Oh crap, Les is still alive.